So welcome to IT management. All things that are responsible around technology, anything that is technology, anything that is VoIP, anything that is cybersecurity, development, all falls on the lap of the IT manager. Now there could be one IT manager, there could be a team of IT managers with different roles and responsibilities. But at the end of the day, you've got the IT techs, the people who have the hands-on responsibility to look after the systems, upgrade, patch, deploy. And then you've got the IT managers that are more big picture, high level, setting the strategies, the policies, the procedures, managing staff and managing the environment as a whole. Because at the end of the day, the IT manager is the one who's responsible. The buck stops with the IT manager. The IT manager is the one who's gonna get the call from the bosses saying, why is this not working? What are we doing here? Why, uh, why did this particular thing happen? The IT manager is ultimately held responsible. Now the IT manager role is very, very varied. And it all depends on the size of the organization. So whether that be a small, medium, or a large business, there could be one or many IT managers. The IT manager could also be the IT tech. So for example, somebody who's responsible for the servers and the network could also be the IT manager. So a small business may not be able to afford an IT tech team as well as an IT manager. So that responsibility falls to one person. That could be you. Could be a much more a larger business, a medium or a large business, where now they have bigger funds, there's a bigger team, there's more staff, there's more complexity on the network. So now they can afford having some IT techs, one IT tech, and perhaps an IT manager. You then move into larger businesses where there's a much bigger responsibility around technology, a lot bigger responsibility around managing infrastructure, networks, perhaps building apps, building development, um, platforms, web stuff, and now there's not just one IT manager because it's too much for one person to handle, there now could be a pool of different sorts of IT managers in different roles and different responsibility um, positions. They could then be reporting to some sort of a director, CTO, CIO. We're gonna talk a little bit about this. Now let's go and break down specifics around different types of IT managers. I'm talking about specifically five IT managers. These are, I would say, the most common types of IT managers and the roles and responsibilities for each of these. The first one being a IT service desk, IT help desk, service desk, or desktop support manager. Somebody who's responsible for the service desk, for the help desk, for perhaps desktop support. This is somebody who looks after the help desk system, the service desk system, the ticketing system, looks after help desk sorts of queries the techs that are responsible for the help desk, the service desk, and maybe some desktop support. They don't have to be super, super technical because they're just managing the level one, perhaps level two queries when it comes to IT support. Of course, IT support being level one, level two, level three, they're gonna be focused on just looking after level one and level two. The second one is the IT operations manager. This is somebody who is responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of IT. Could be an element of help desk support, making sure that the IT systems are operational, that the end users can operate, that the servers are operational, that the network is operational, that the health of the environment is good. They're making sure that the operations are operational, right? That 24 seven operations, if that's what the requirement is, tries to stick to 24 seven. Now they can be technical because they're focused now a little bit more on making sure that the systems are running healthy, that they're operational, etc. But there could be other roles that are more focused on specific technologies. Then you've got the IT infrastructure manager. This is somebody who is now looking after the infrastructure. Now there could be an element where they have to make sure that the operations are there, that it's healthy, et cetera, et cetera. But they're now focused on infrastructure. They may not be involved in the level one, level two, so they're not gonna be necessarily a help desk person or even an operations person, but they're now involved with server, network, storage, perhaps security, data centers, cloud, etc. All of that, the data centers, the server rooms, the links between buildings, all of that would fall on the lap 
of the IT infrastructure manager. You can then look at the security manager. This is now somebody who's focused on and their core role is around cyber security, making sure that the security of the network, the security of the servers, the security of the end users are all paramount. They're working well, it's healthy, and it's secure as well. Now, the IT security manager, of course, will work closely with the help desk manager, with the operations manager, with the infrastructure manager, to make sure that all of their responsibilities are secure. The infrastructure manager may just be responsible for building servers, making sure that the servers are built, deployed, and they go out to the customer, while the security manager wants to make sure that they are secure, that the right policies, the procedures, the right, you know, if they're endpoint protection, that the firewalls are set up correctly, that there's penetration testing being performed, that they're perhaps PCI compliant, if they want to make sure that an organization can do credit cards, uh, and do payments online, things like that, or the role of the security manager. They're generally gonna be somebody that's technical because they need to understand the technical elements of the IT systems. Then we've got the developer manager, the development manager. This is now somebody who is outside of day-to-day -day support. They're outside of the level one, level two, level three responsibility. They're outside of infrastructure. They're outside of operations. They're now tasked with developing products. They're tasked with ma perhaps managing a pool, a team of developers, whether that be web developers, app developers, mobile devices, apps for computers, the back end code, the front end, all of that falls to the responsibility of the developer. It could be in house applications, applications that are specifically built for the organization. Custom built, bespoke apps is what they would call them. Getting the developers together, building that, deploying that, testing that having a UAT environment, having a dev environment, having production, staging for developing products, deploying them, whether they be internal, external customers, to the website, all for the developer, uh, development manager themselves, right? There are other manager positions. Others could be a service delivery manager or an SDM, somebody that's looking after other businesses and has a service delivery component where they're delivering a service. An architecture manager, somebody who looks after now the high-end architecture. Project manager, an IT project manager. Their job, day-to-day -day projects, getting the start to finish, budget, timelines, governance around a project. Depending again on the size of the organization, if it's a larger company, they may then be reporting into some sort of a director position. So now the manager reports into an IT director. They could be reporting into the higher end C-level chiefs, CTOs, chief technology officers, or CIOs, the chief information officers, or the CISOs, the chief information security officers. So there's various chiefs depending on the size of the organization. Generally, you're gonna find a IT director or a C-level IT director is gonna have a IT manager background. So you, you're watching this, Good to have the foundational skills around IT management to then work your way up, depending on the organization, up to those higher end levels. 